Hello, hello, good evening. Hi guys. Um, happy Wednesday. You are watching Taking Back You Live. I am Danny Carter Iddens, if you don't know me. And if you do know me, I mean, like I say, I'm still Danny Carter Iddens. I'm so glad to be with you tonight. Um, it is Wednesday. We are halfway through the week and it's a really good week for me because um, my husband has only a four day week this week. So he's going to be home on Friday all day. And then also he will be home on Monday. So it's a four day weekend. I'm really excited. Um, and I'm just, you know, I'm getting ready to have a good weekend. Um, oh, and my little guy will be at my um, in-laws for um, the weekend. So we will have like, you know, a weekend, a childless weekend. Um, <laughs> so that would be really, really nice. Hi, mom. Hi, Jessica. Um, so today's topic is really uh, near and dear to my heart. And the reason it is, is because pretty much everything that I'm about to tell you um, was something that I did. And in the name of, you know, losing weight or being healthy or whatever. And then I realized that it was a horrible, these were not good things to do. So I wanted to share them with you. We're talking about, um, you know, are you making these weight loss mistakes? A lot of people, a lot of people make these mistakes. A lot of people think this is what you need to do. Um, and they're not. The, losing weight is not, um, you know, some crazy, like elusive um you know, algorithm, there is you know, a method and, and, and if you follow it, it may not be, you know, it's not going to be fast, but it will happen. So just going through the first thing. Um, oh, you know what, before I start my first things, I want to tell you this next week, I will not be having a live show. It's Halloween. I'm going to be taking my little guy trick or treating. Um, so I will not have a live show. So enjoy your Halloween and I will see you guys again, um, whatever the date is of that next Wednesday. I think it's the 6th of November. I'm not quite sure. Uh, don't quote me on that. But yeah, I won't be on next Wednesday. Um, I thought about doing like a, a hollow, like a candy special or whatever, but I just thought, you know what, I'm going to enjoy the, the day with my son and we, we'll go trick or treating and have fun. Um, so yeah. The first thing that you are doing when you are trying to lose weight that's that might actually be doing more damage than good is working out too much. So one of the things um, that a lot of people do, and I did this too, was I thought, okay, I'm going to work out a ton and I'm going to not hardly eat anything. <laughs> well, the problem is, is that when you start when you start upping your workouts, your body is going to crave food more because you are burning more fuel. So it's what's going to it's going to make your metabolism boost, it's going to boost your energy. And to do those things, you got to give it fuel, you got to give it food. So, you know, exercise, please 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 exercise. You want to exercise at least 30 minutes a day, 3 to 5 days a week. Um, but you know, make sure that if you are exercising, that you are giving your body the right fuel. The problem is, is that if you don't give it enough fuel, then it will actually do the exact opposite of what you want. And it will hold on to the weight that you're trying to get rid of because it's worried about where it's going to get it. It's kind of like when, um, oops, sorry, I just hit the table. It's kind of like when we talked about, you know, water, the thing about water is when you, um, you you hold water weight because you're not drinking water. It's kind of a weird, you know, weird thing. So, you know, um, just make sure you're eating enough to support the amount of exercise that you're doing. On the flip side, well, not the flip side, but in addition to, you could be cutting too many calories. When you, um, when you eat too many calories, too few calories, that means that your metabolism is going to slow down. Again, it gets back to what I was saying before, where your body kind of goes into reserve mode. And if you're not giving it enough calories, it actually holds on to what it has in your body already because it's, it doesn't know when it's going to get, um, you know, its next meal. So that's basically, it's counterproductive to not eat enough. Um, you know, and even if you aren't working out, because before I gave an example of, you know, okay, if you're working out, da, da, even if you're not working out, 
um, you want to make sure that you're eating enough calories for your body. There, um, there are tons of websites that have calorie calculators that you can go to if you need to know how much like how much you should be eating and you can even put in um your amount of exercise if you are you know sedentary you don't you're like you don't exercise at all either because you can't or you know it's just not your thing i don't know or there's um or you you can put in like you know you're mildly active super active and it will tell you how many calories you need to consume every day there's also, um, cal calorie calculators that will tell you how many calories you need to consume in order to gain weight and to lose weight because, you know, we're not all trying to lose weight. Some people are actually trying to gain weight. Um, and so those calculators are on there too. I can um, get that link and put that in for you so that you can click on that calendar, cal that calorie calculator because, yeah, they it really is helpful. I... Um, I kind of, I use it, but I, you know, I take it with a grain of salt because I don't always, um, you have to feel, you have to feel how your body is feeling sometimes, you know, and you can't, and if, if it gives you a number that you can follow, don't like get obsessed with that number and think if you eat one, you know, calorie more, you're, you're in trouble forever. That's not the case. Um, so just make sure that you're doing that. I will get the, cal the calorie calculator on there for you. Another big thing you do, and I was guilty of this. A lot of you are probably guilty of this. Go ahead and say if you are guilty, you might be guilty of this. Skipping breakfast. Now, some of us may be doing it because we think it's helping us lose weight. Some of us may be doing it because we think, because we just don't have time for breakfast. Um, some of us may be doing it because breakfast makes our tummies feel ooky. Um, but the thing about breakfast is that if you don't eat breakfast, your body goes into starvation mode. Are you noticing a theme here where if we are starving ourselves, it's actually the opposite of what we need to do in order to lose weight because our body kind of like freaks out and holds on to what we have. Um, so, you know, without breakfast, your body goes into starvation mode and you're probably going to do one or two things. You're probably going to overeat when you finally do eat something. So when you do have lunch or you do have dinner, um, they, you're going to eat everything because you're starving by then, by then you are really hungry and you're going to be in a bad mood and you could possibly have brain frog, frog, brain frog, brain fog, which is happens again because your sugars are low because you haven't eaten. Um, I always, we always make a joke in my family. Um, my husband is like mildly hypoglycemic. And so we, whenever he gets, you know, short with me, I'll be like, oh, your sugars are low, your sugars are low. And so <laughs> we always, you know, I always, here's a candy bar, your sugars are low. Um, I actually don't eat the candy bar if your sugars are low. Eat like fruit. But anyways, you know, um, the thing is, unless they're really low, then do eat a candy bar. But you, know, you have to realize that breakfast, like the meal of breakfast, is dated back to the earliest humans when they only ate during daylight hours. And why do you think that is? Well, because that's when they could see to hunt. You can't hunt in the dark because you can't see or you'll be kill killed by whatever it was that killed them back then. So, you know, obviously they didn't have electricity. So they only ate during the daytime hours. And what ended up what that ended up doing to, you know, future humans is that our metabolism is set to kick on in the daylight. So if you're a person like me, I can't eat breakfast right when I wake up. Some people like I don't know how my husband and my son can roll out of bed eating breakfast. And I'm like, oh, that just makes me like but some people can do that. If you're like me and you can't eat breakfast, like right when you get out of bed, that's completely fine. You have like two hours. You have a two hour window where you can eat breakfast. If you eat breakfast within the first couple of hours of waking up, you and you should feel better by then. If you do have stomach problems within two hours, you should feel better. That will um, help raise your blood sugar levels and you will feel way, way better throughout the day. And you won't eat more than you need to at lunch and dinner time. Um, so you you want to make sure because you, your blood sugar levels dip at night. They dip while you sleep. You don't you know you you don't really need them as much. And so 
when you wake up, you gotta you gotta bring them back up again, or else you you're gonna you're gonna feel the effects throughout the day. Again, eat breakfast if you need a healthy breakfast. I can get that link to you so you can see what are the things that you should be eating for breakfast. You don't wanna, I, 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 you know. I know we all loved them as kids, but don't bust out your favorite, you know, um, sugary cereal and be like, well, Danny said eat breakfast. No, make sure you're eating the right breakfast. Y'all know by now. Um, and, and like I said, I'll get that link on here for um, different breakfast foods that you can eat that are good for you and taste good too. Now, on the flip side, you might not be eating breakfast and you might also be eating too late, much, much too late. Um, going back to our, our early humans, our metabolisms, like I said, are set to function during the day. So, and more specifically, in daylight. So this means that if we're eating too late, which is when our metabolism is kind of like on its little resting period, that may cause us to hold on to unwanted weight. So um, when you're eating outside of your normal rhythm, the food that you consume is being stored as fat and it's not being used as fuel. And so, like I, you know, I said before, you're noticing a theme, when your body is in starvation mode, nothing, it doesn't let go of anything. It doesn't let go of the things that you want it to let go of. And the other thing too, is that at late at night or later at night, um, you're more likely to eat savory, salty, sugary foods because you're hungry and so you're just grabbing, you know, whatever. And and the thing is, it's like, okay, so like, you know how when you're super hungry, nothing sounds better than a humongous bowl of pasta. Well, the problem is, is that you're going to feel full for a little bit and then once all the sugars from those carbs burned off, then you're hungry again. And it fills you up, but not really because it's not, it, it doesn't have any fiber in it and it's not like really going to stay in you. Um, so, you know, there's really something when, you know, that saying that, you know, breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, dine like a pauper, that there really is something to, something to that because you really, you want to have your biggest, your highest calorie meal in the morning as your first meal. And that, think about it, that makes sense because it gives you all day to burn off those calories. You don't want to sit down, I mean, I, you know, I love a good dinner. Um, but you don't want to sit down at eight o'clock at night having pot roast and potatoes and, you know, rolls and, you know, whatever you're having as your vegetable. Um, side note, I just heard that the woman who um, created the green bean casserole, she just passed away. She was 92. I didn't even know anybody invented green bean casserole. I, 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 I didn't know it was documented. I'll say that like, oh, okay. So wherever she is, much love to you. Thank you for the green bee casserole. Um, <laughs> just complete side note. And the last thing that you're doing, and this is we are many of us are guilty of it, is you are doing fad diets. You're doing too many fad diets. And the thing about them is that they are um, everywhere. And even if they do work, they're not sustainable. Um, they're just not sustainable, you know. I mean, they have all sorts of diets, and really, what is sustainable is a lifestyle is a lifestyle change, and that's what you know. I'm pushing here is I'm not pushing, you know. Okay, only like a lettuce leaf once every Thursday. Yeah, right. I I've had green bean casserole. My mom says, um, oh, she she heard about the green bean casserole uh, creator passing away as well, and she's never wanted to eat a green bean casserole. I have only had it a couple of times, and I have to say that it is something that if I didn't have again, I would be okay with that. Um, but I know there are. <laughs> There are some people who are like real and true green bean casserole fans. I am sorry for you. Um, make your green bean casserole this Thanksgiving in honor of her. Um, <laughs> the, um, the thing about diets, especially strenuous ones, is that you, you can't keep up with the schedule. You might be able to do it for a little bit. Um, you might be able to, you know, be... Um, you know, able to hold on maybe a month, maybe two.
But after that, your body, you can't do that. You will, like, um, I know how many people have, like, freaked out and then, like, ate all the things after they did some, like, crazy bad diet, which is completely the opposite of what you want to do. That's why I push a lifestyle change. What we're talking about is a lifestyle change. I'm never going to tell you, jump on the latest bandwagon and um, hold on for dear life. I'm not going to tell you that. You need to make lifestyle changes. You need to make small changes that fit into your life, that fit into your schedule, because it doesn't matter if you lose the weight super fast, if you gain it all back and then some, then you're back where you started. You know, um, like I said at the beginning of this broadcast, is the transformation going to be swift? No, it's not. But will it be healthy? Yes. And will it happen? Yes. Um, there are things that you can do that will help you lose weight the right way. It may not be, like I said, it won't be fast, but it will be It will be pretty, okay? You'll be healthy when it's over and you don't have to worry about um, any, you know, adverse effects. And like always, 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 they say this because it's true. Any diet that you are thinking about doing, please talk to your doctor first. Make sure it's okay. Um, make any, any, you know, supplement you want to take or anything like that, talk to your doctor first and make sure it's, it's, it's on the up and up. Um, and, you know, talk to your doctor about how long you should be doing these things, how sustainable they are, you know, um, things like that. So I, you know, I hope you got some value out of this today. I, as always, as always, da, 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 I have these typed up and I can send them to you. I, I'll put the link in for you right down there. But yeah, you know, just really, um, if, you, if you're if you jumping on at the end here, really just go back through, um, or you can find the link. A blog post about this will be posted on my page, my Mindful Living page, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So really just, you know, think about some of these mistakes. They're mistakes that we all make. So don't be like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe that I've been doing this and they're the worst things to do. No, we all do them. I, I do them. I, you know, um, one of them, literally the, I, the eating too late, I am guilty of that because of my, you know, dance teacher schedule. I wait till I have, to, I can't eat dinner until after I'm done teaching, and most nights I'm not done teaching until like seven or eight. So I eat late all the time. And so now I was reading that and I was kind of like, hmm, okay, I'm gonna have to figure out something. So I can eat earlier during the day. Um, you know, I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know how, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, it really does. And there's there's like all this science too about eating late and like how much weight you actually, um, how much more, oh, I had it, you know what? Don't you hate that when you have a hair? And it's like tickling you, but you can't figure out where it is. That's what, <laughs> so um, you know that's the that's really the thing that I need to work on is not eating so late. So I mean, don't be embarrassed if you if there's something on this list that you do. Who, who cares? Just work on fixing it. Make adjustments. You know, um, and that's the best you can do. So, all right, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And uh, actually, I hope you have a great week. I'll, I'll be back on Monday for my Monday morning motivation, but I won't be on Halloween night. I'll be taking my little guy out trick-or-treating. Please pray that it is not the coldest it's ever been because I really don't want to be cold. I don't like to be cold. So um, have a great week and a half. I'll see you back in November. Enjoy your time and make sure you are doing you. Okay, guys, have a good night.